Hi everybody, Julian here from Zika's Guitars. Today we are going to compare three of the best double top guitars ever made. So the German guitar making school is very um, advanced in making double top guitars. We have great luthiers like uh, Matthias Damann, Julian Damann, the son of Matthias Damann, Carsten Kops, Gernot Wagner, Müller, and Michel Brück. And uh, today we are very lucky to have three of these fascinating guitars. We have a uh, Carsten Kops guitars for, uh, guitar from 2023. We have a uh, Julian Damann guitar, the son of Matthias Damann. And this guitar is from 2015. And we have a brand new Michel Brück from 2023. I also want to mention that I have positioned the microphones just a little bit more far away from the guitars than our usual recordings because I thought that maybe you can hear also the sound projection and the loudness of the guitars better. I won't talk a lot. I'm going to play the same piece on each guitar and at the end I'm going to talk about my impressions.
first of all, wow. I mean, I can truly understand why so many classical guitar stars are playing their concerts on these three fabulous sounding guitars. They are truly special. You have to play to understand what I mean. You have straight away a very big wow effect from the first chord. But let's talk about the sound. I can only talk about my impression from this side. The people from the other side may hear the sound in a different way. So first of all, I would say loudness of the Michel Brück guitar and the Matthias Damann guitars are unreal. I mean, it's like amplified. I also think that the Michel Brück and the Damann guitar have some similar characters in some areas. Also in the loudness, I think they are very similar. And the Carsten Kops guitar is for me not as loud as these two guitars, but it's for me the most organic and harmonic and also musical sounding instrument. I feel very, very comfortable when I played different chords, when I played in the lower positions and the higher positions. There was a very musical and organic structure somehow in the sound. I think all the guitars have nearly the same sustain, so the length of the tone, but I still have the feeling that the Cops guitar had a little bit more sustain and overtones and the response of these three guitars are just wow. You just need to touch the strings a little bit and you have straight away a very full sound. So you don't have to work a lot to get a nice full sound of these guitars. I had the feeling that the Michel Brück and the Daman guitar had a little bit more faster response than the Carsten Kops guitar, but as I said, the Kops guitar had more overtones and a little bit longer sustain. Very interesting. I'm just still thinking about the sound of these guitars and I'm very curious how these guitars sound if I watch the video later on. Maybe I will have a different opinion, but I can just judge the sound from my side, from the player side. I'm very curious about your opinion about the sound of this guitar. Just let me know which one sounded for you the best. I mean, you can't really say which guitar sounds better. They are in a way different to each other, but somehow they have also some very similar characters. So um, yeah, just let me know about the sound, sustain, loudness. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. If you didn't do that already, we will have much more interesting content for you and have a nice day. See you in a bit.